Look at that old school forehand. I love it. Here we go, come. Wow. It's so clean. Macy, you gotta go for it though. You gotta get every ball, okay? Well, not get every ball, but make the attempt to get every ball. That's the key. Working on your reaction time. Up, up. Here we go, control that pickup. Go, 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 go. Nice top spin. Go, go, Macy, go. Nice control there. Come, AC. Good defense. Don't get stuck in no man's land. Don't get stuck there. Back it up. Come. Macy, you got stuck in no man's land. What I liked about this set was your shot selection where some of those shorter balls, you didn't rip them, but you put a little bit more spin. That was a really good shot selection. Thank you. Because like, I like you to rip the forehand when you have the chance, but when you don't have the chance, you got to apply more control. That was really good. But what happened when you got stuck in no man's land? Man, I couldn't put it away. You couldn't put it away? Uh -uh. What do you mean? I was trying. Couldn't get set up. You couldn't get set up? No. Either come all the way in or back up. Okay. It's one of the oldest rules in tennis. Don't get stuck in no man's land. Got all right, it. here we go. Come on. Good. Good, Macy. Good. Try, try. Come on, Macy, try. And volley. Okay. And when I give you a short ball, put it the other way, okay? Okay. Because you're going to kill me. You're way too powerful of a player. I'm in big danger at the net. All so right. anything short, I want you to go hard, but go the other way. Here we go. Nice, on the run. Come, AC. Come on. So good. So good. So good. This is killer. Wow. This is so cool. You're stuck in no man's land again. No. But this is a problem, though. You know, I mean, like stuff that shows up in practice can't show up in a match court. So I'd like you to retrieve on those balls. They're not really shots that you can come in on. You're better off just backing up, playing it from the baseline. Because when you're stuck there, you know how tough it is. Everything's gonna be at your feet. So it's not really anything you can come in on. You'll recognize when you come in. So let's avoid uh, that no man's land area, okay? okay? Come on. Nice. Nice. Love that forehand. Come on. Test your defensive skills. On um, back end, Macy, back it up. Good. Up, up. One more time. Stay down on that. Stay down on that. And attack this one. Go. Rip. Very nice. Good work. Very good work. Macy, I love your forehand. It's definitely a little bit more old fashioned, but I like it. You can put spin on it quite easily, though. It's not always flat. I see you putting spin on there sometimes. But the way you like swing the racket, it's definitely a little bit more of an old fashioned preparation and the swing path. Here we go. Good. Nice. Nice. Love it. Come, try. Good defense. Put more spin on that backhand. Take it a little bit earlier, that was late. Good. Good. Nice pick up. Good, Macy. Volley. Go, try. Come on. Don't look at the ball. Try for it. And forehand. Come on. Macy, come. Don't give up. Don't give up ever. Like, make the attempt. I don't expect you to get to every ball, but I do expect you to try every time, okay? All right. Here we go. Come on. Good. Good. Good, Macy. Again, volley it. Come on. Come on, up, 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 up. And volley, come, close, close. And volley, close. All right, volley. Okay, look, you like letting those bounce instead of volleying them, or? No, I would love to, I just feel a little slow. You're feeling a little bit slow. All right, we'll get the explosiveness back, don't worry. The explosiveness is not there because you haven't played in a while. You'll right. get it back. But that's why, you know, when I say like run for everything, that's where you work on explosiveness like reaction time, like trying to get to the ball, you know, making these movements, these quick movements when you see the ball. 
the more you do them, the, f the more they're going to come back the way they used to be. They're going to get a lot faster. All right, nice work. Thanks. Macy, let's work a little bit on that half court forehand. I'm going to give you a ball that's going to be super low, super dead, like nothing you can come in on. And I want you to work on retrieving back to the baseline. Okay. What I've observed there was a couple of problems where you got stuck in no man's land. So super simple drill, super uncomfortable low ball. You run up to it, play it with your forehand and come back around the cone here, okay? Okay. We'll do a set of 12, okay? Here we go. 12? Yes. Nick, I can't do 12. What do you mean? I think we should probably aim for like 6. Okay, let's start with 12. If it's too much, we'll we reduce it later. Here we go. Come on, we got to grind. By the way, Emma is like, Emma is so pumped for this match. <laughs> Seriously, she's training hard right now. Okay. We have to match her training oh. regimen. Here we go. Come on, AC. Go, go. There's no way I can get that. I have to start the baseline. Yes. All right, I'll adjust the feet a little bit, okay? I'll put it a little bit higher. You can get that, trust me, if you try, though, you, because you stop, like, after one step. Just commit. Commit to getting that ball, okay? All right, here we go. And now back pedal, come back pedal all the way around and go again. Come on. Control that forehand with a lot of spin, okay? Come again. Better. And quick, 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 come on. Good, Macy. Nice. I like you going cross court too. It's a good shot selection there. Nice one. And come on, Macy. Explosive. Go. Oh, you're halfway through. Here we go. Six more, Macy. Come on. You got this. Go. Nice one. And again. Come on, Macy. You got this. Nice. And again. Come on. Get up there. Oh, you let it sail a little bit. You pushed on it, steered it. Come on. Don't lose your racket head speed. Come on. Go up. Quick. Even more, give me one more. Don't lose your racket head speed. A lot of spin, fast. Yes, there you go. Macy, another observation from us hitting. You are a little bit rusty on the pickup shots, especially if you're back inside. That's a really big part of your game. And correct me if I'm wrong, but like I, you, I think you like to hold your ground on the baseline. You don't back up unless you really have to. You like to kind of hold your ground and pick balls up. And I do feel like you're missing quite a few on the backhand side. Not so much on the forehand. You have pretty good control there. But on the backhand side, I did see some mistakes. Is it true what I'm saying? You like that style of game? You're exactly right. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, good. <laughs> so I'm going to give you these type of balls. So you just hold your ground. You pick them up. You know you know how to do it. I don't need to teach you how to hit the shot. And let's just get some reps in, okay? You go down the line. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Make sure you go down the line. You're going to take my head off, okay? Here we go. Come on. There it is. Strong. Nice, Macy. Go back to the middle a little bit. Don't get stuck in the same spot, okay? If you don't, I'm going to have to pull out the cone. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Macy. Pick it up off the ground. And make sure you use your legs. Stay down, okay? This is the type of shot where you want to stay down. And attack this one. Go. Very nice backhand. Wow. You got so much natural power on your shots. Yeah, the ball comes off the racket really quick. What's going on with your racket? Where's your Technifiber? I left it at home. You're not going to forget your rackets when you play Emma, are you? Definitely not. You're going to have all your equipment <laughs> yeah. ready? How many rackets do you have? I've got two for the match. You only got two rackets? Two for the match. Isn't that funny, like, when you stop playing? Uh, when I used to play, I had, like, at one point, eight rackets or even more. But then, like, when you stop competing, you don't care. Like, one racket is enough. It's are not you the racket, it's the player. Are you the same way? Like, how many rackets did you used to have in your bag when you used to play? At least five, five or six. Right. And now you're down to, like, one or two. <laughs> yep. It's so funny. And I personally completely stopped popping strings once I stopped playing. How about you? Very rarely. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that funny? <laughs> how fast would you, would you break a string back in the day? Oh, man, we were going through strings, like, once, or, once a week at least. Oh, once a week? Yeah. I remember, what well, this is going way back, like... 20 years where the equipment was a little bit different, the strings was a little bit different. Now strings last much longer, but back in the day, I remember a string freshly strung was good maybe for a set or a set and a half. Mm -hmm. And this was polyester, but the old fashioned polyester. Yeah. It didn't last at all. Fresh racket makes such a difference. Oh, it makes a huge difference. All right, let's do one another round, okay? Here we go. Right. Hold your ground, you go down the line. Here we go. Oh. Are you ready? Come on, yeah. be ready. Come on, here we go. Go again. Come on. Come on, Macy. Come on, Macy. Go again. Come on. Come on. Come on, down the line. Here we go. Hold your ground. Come on. Come on. 
Are you still quick? How quick are your hands? Let me test your hands right here. Come on, Macy. Here we go. Come on. And attack it. Come. Very good backhand. Awesome job. Okay, Macy, what I'd like to do now is something that has a tendency to get really rusty when you don't play, and that's the surf plus one, the half court game. It's usually something that you look for when you're like playing a lot and have a lot of confidence. But then when you stop competing, you don't play enough balls around the half court. You do this mostly at the baseline or at the net, you know, playing with your student and you don't practice this part of court. And all of a sudden you realize I'm so rusty over here. Like I'm trying to put the ball away from half court and I'm making mistakes. So let's practice that. It's super important for the match that you practice putting balls away around here. Okay. All right, so what I want you to do is serve one. I'm going to give you like a dead feed here in half court and you put it away. Okay. All right, surf plus one. See, my dad used to say that that used to be the best part of my game was the half court. Oh, yeah. And then when I stopped playing competitively, it turned into the worst part of my game. Like I went from like being able to kill every ball from there to like making tons of mistakes. Simply because I stopped practicing those type of shots, you know? And put it away, come on. Pick a bigger target now. Okay. Like pick the huge target, I would say like in the middle between the middle of the court and the single slide, that's your target, and hit hard there. Don't go too long either. I would say, like, if you take the center mark of this, this half of the court, like halfway between the service line and the baseline, halfway between the single slide and the middle of the court, right here is your target, right? Dead center on both sides, whether you're going down the line or, or cross court. And again, come Macy. Okay, I thought the location was good, but you didn't hit it that hard. You may be a little bit jammed on it. I want you to, on the next one, work on your feet, get yourself in the perfect position, and then blast it, okay? Oh, put it away. Best one so far, Macy. That's really good. Very good. Best one you hit so far. So what I would say, usually, is that anything that comes in the middle, half court wise, you hit with a forehand, right? even if you prefer your backhand. And then even like going past the middle, let's say to about right here, you can still hit a forehand. Once you get like past this area right here, then I think it's, it's better to hit a backhand unless the ball is like high enough where you can comfortably get around it. But what's your like play when you get a ball in this area? Do you like to run around your back and hit a forehand or do you like hitting backhands too? No, I'm usually looking for forehands. You're I'll looking serve. for forehand. Yeah, most people are like that. Even players that have better backhands than forehands will still have a preference to put it away with the forehand because all of us are stronger on the forehand side. So let's do that next, okay? I'm gonna this time feed you from the other side and I want you to look for your forehand to put away the second shot. Okay, have you worked with Emma this week yet? I haven't. She was uh, on a little vacation. Uh-oh. She took some time off. Uh-oh, that's good for me. Yes, good that's really good for you. But we're training, I'm training with her tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so I like to train with you guys, but how much you do outside on my training session, this is gonna make a big difference. Right. You've been working every day, right? You I've told been me. Trying to, yeah. You've been doing hitting sessions every day, right? Mm -hmm. Good. This is gonna be good. The more you play, the better. Oh Jesus! Sorry, Macy. That was a hard serve. Sorry. Jesus. Can you slow it down, no, no, no. Go hard. No need to slow down. I can, I can take it. I was just wasn't ready. Okay. Keep going hard. Holy moly! Um, oh, too good. I can't handle that serve. I might have to feed it. It's too fast, Macy. That was a really bad feed, but you hit that very long there. When you, yeah, you went too long. Like what I like to do when the ball is very close to the net, I like to work with the angles. You know, you just like hit it. It doesn't have to be that hard, but if you hit it like more angled off, there's absolutely no way that the opponent can get to it and there's very little chance that you're gonna miss it. When you go like really hard and long, there's a chance you might spray it a little bit and you make a frustrating mistake, okay? So work with the angles when the ball is closer to the net. Oh, strong, nice. Very strong, Macy, nice job. Okay, now we're gonna work on stamina, okay? I'm gonna get you a little bit tired. I'm gonna work on defense. I'm gonna move you side to side. We do set of 20. And we're gonna go hard, okay? okay. All right, here we go. When you're playing defense, don't go for too much. 
Uh, be aggressive, but make sure that you're making a lot of these shots a little bit high over the net. Most of them going cross court. Here we go. Two. Come on, finish your shots all the way. Four. Come on, Macy. Five. Here we go. Six. A little bit more spin. Come on. Seven. Here we go. Eight, Macy. Come. Here we go. Nine. Come on. Ten. Here we go. Eleven. Come on. Here's twelve. More spin. Thirteen. Come on. Fourteen, Macy. Come. Here's fifteen, Macy. Come. Here we go. Sixteen, Macy. Come. Come on. You got four more. Come on, Macy. And last one. I'm missing one ball. Very good. Okay, that was the warm-up round. Now we do it for real. Here we go. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. Here we go. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. Seven. Come on, Macy. Eight. Here we go. Nine. Come on. Ten. Here we go, 11. Come on, 12. Here we go, 13. Come on, 14. Come on, 15, Macy, go. Here we go, 16, Macy, go. Come on, 17, Macy, go. Come on, 18, you got it. Come on, 19, Macy, go. And you got 20. And bonus round, two ball bonus round. Come on, two ball bonus. Macy, come. Two ball bonus, you got this. Two more. Come on, you got this. Here's 21. There's a two ball bonus. Hey, you gotta make two in a row though. Here we go. Match point. All right, there, there it is. That's the way to do it. Great work, Macy. That's it. How are you feeling? That was a good workout, Nick. That was a really good workout, right? Yeah. How are your legs? They're a little weak right now, but I think they're getting stronger. Are they like, you have shaky legs or? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, right? They're like yeah. almost wobbly because you're not used to going to the max. Right. But you're doing really good. You're hitting the ball super clean. And we'll keep working hard, okay? Thanks. Nice job. Sounds good. Five more. Four. Three. Come on. Two, Emma. Go, go, go. And one, Emma. Come on. All right. Good warm up. Good. I'm going to still move you a little bit, so be ready, okay? Great. Come on. <laughs> Come. You don't like to move, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Come on, Emma, you love it. Here we go. Backhand. Come on. Good. Now, I like that slide. All right, good enough. Come on, touch the net. Back it up. Oh, not going, don't go back to me or you're going to kill me. Go the other way. Come on, five more. Come on, get airborne, Emma. Come on, get airborne. Here we go. Jump off that back leg. Come on, get airborne. Four more. Emma, go the other way. You're going to kill me over here. Go again. Come on, five more. You're getting punished now. And one more time. Come on. Okay, when you go back, you're gonna go off the back foot, so make sure that you go off the back foot early enough so that you actually make contact with both feet off the ground. And then as you're hitting, you're gonna transfer to the front foot. So you go here, jump, hit, and then transfer to the front foot. On some of those, you are literally hitting off the back leg. When you do that, the contact is too far back and you won't be able to get enough power. You have to get off the ground prior to the contact so you can make contact in the air. Of course, you wanna be behind the ball enough so you can make it in front too. Because sometimes when the ball gets behind you, naturally you're going to have to hit it off the back foot. So it's a, it's a footwork thing where you have to get back there quick enough so you can plant, get off the back foot, be in the air, and then naturally as you finish, you're going to transfer to the front foot. Like this, look. Come back. You see that? That's what I want you to do. Let's try it again, okay? You can do one dry if you want. Do one dry. Back, jump. There you go, like that. Jump off the back foot in the air. Too early, that was too early, come on. Better, yes, and again. Make a wider base too, separate the feet, good. And again, come on, off the back foot. 
That's the one. Land on the front foot. Let that back foot kick up. There you go, Emma. Come on. That was off the back foot. Come on, transfer to the front foot. Too early there. Wait longer. Keep moving longer. Better. And one more blast this one, Emma. Come on. All right, good. It's more insulated here. That noise is uh, very distracting. Not that it's like, um, not that it's a bad thing to practice under adverse uh, conditions. I think it's good, but uh, at the same time, like, you can't really hear what I'm saying. Okay, where are we going? Well, we're going to rally now baseline to Bali, okay? You're going to be here in the shade. I'm going to grant you the shade, even though, have you read Nadal's book? No, I Uncle Tony made Nadal go in the sun, remember? Okay, well, I don't want to be Nadal. Wait, Anima, listen, hear me out. <laughs> Uncle Tony put little Rafa in the sun, and Uncle Tony was chilling in the shade, which made Nadal stronger and made Nadal a hard worker, and also allowed Nadal to work on adverse conditions. But despite that Nadal did this, I'm still going to put you in the shade because it's okay? Yeah. All right. I'll just letting you know, though, it'd be better for you to be in the sun. Just letting you know that. <laughs> so you still want to be in the you shade? You're running around. You're just feeding balls. <laughs> All right. We're going to stay down on that one. Down. Come on, control the low ones. Move that ball, Emma. All right, no mistakes with high intensity. Move your feet there, adjust. Come on, no mistakes, Emma. Good pick up. Good. Well, all the ones that you missed, Emma, the ball was too flat. Not enough spin, okay? So when it's low, when it's below your hip, Put a little bit more shape on there. Just get it to like here. Aim more here, and it's gonna be a good, a good height for you. You can flatten it out when it's higher. When it's lower, you have to give it a little bit more shape. Come on, you're doing good though. You're hitting well, come on. Good Emma, good defense. Way better, down, down. More spin on that low one, good. Good. Come on. Come on, Emma. Go. Two hands on the racket. Come on. Good. Good. More top spin. Up. Good. Good. Come on, Emma. Come on, Emma. Try. Try. Keep going, Emma. Go. Come. Emma, come on, it's not that bad. What do you mean, it's so bad? Dry. Well, yeah, it's a little bit on the dry side. They probably should have watered it, but it's okay. Remember, Tony Nadal, adverse, <laughs> adverse conditions Stop. is gonna make you stronger. When you practice in horrible conditions, it's good. Yeah. You know that. Of course I know it. Did you practice in horrible conditions sometimes? Of course, I practice most of my life in horrible conditions. And that makes you strong, it makes you tough. Yes. Like it's easy to practice when everything is perfect. But today, like on one of these days, like it's windy, it's like super dry. We've got the long guys making tons of noise. This is where you really test your, like it's hot too. This is where you test your um, mental abilities. See like, how tough you are actually. So it's very valuable. All right, let's do a few more. Come on, come on. Come on, Emma. A lot of bad bounces here. Come again. Try, try. Good defense there. Come. And back in, Emma. Come. Good back in. Great. Good. Good. 
Good. And attack it, Emma. Come. Very strong. I love it. Come. Again, that low one with more spin. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good defense there. I like it. Up, up. Go again, Emma. Come on, down. Better. Try. Come on. Come on, Emma. Ah, uh, there's a low one. And again, come on, low one. Again. Again. Low one, Emma. Come, come. All right, good try. So Emma Macy plays like really hard and flat. So you're gonna see a ton of these like low type of balls. So we're really gonna to have to practice. Because right now, I don't know if this is generally true, but right now it seems to me like you're uncomfortable with some of those super low ones. Um, you have to, well, your number one, you have to bend and you have to put a little bit more shape. A lot of times now you're just committing to that, that shovel shot, the forehand slice. Yeah. That works. What do you mean? Because when I do that, yeah. Because if I try to do spin, yeah, it pops up. But if I do that low slice, it throws them out. Really? Sometimes I do it on purpose, not because I'm lazy. Okay. Well, so I see your point. If you hit it well and low, it no, can be. No, not even well. Like honestly, like I really, just do like this, and if it's low, it just has to be low. That's what I, I mean. I don't like those balls. I do adjust well if I need to. You know? No, you do, no doubt about it, but we still have to work on it, okay? Just because you're not seeing those type of balls that much, and a lot of times when you're teaching, what happens is the following, like... Yeah, you go I'm gonna, well, that's what I was to tell you, because I've been teaching for a long, long time, and when you teach, you exert the minimal amount of effort. Yeah. And you just do those shovel shots. Yeah. That's my main point with those shots. If you can do a quality forehand slice, that's yeah. fine. But if you're just shoveling the ball back like this, that's right. no good. And that's not like kind of like a lesson shot. Yeah. You know how it is. Unless you don't want to bend, you just want to conserve energy because you have to be out here for 10 hours. All right, so you're going to be on the baseline. I'm going to give you a low ball, short. You're going to come up and you're either going to do top spin or you're going to do your slice, okay? okay. We'll do forehand and backhand. So I want you to go around the cone each time, okay, Emma? <clears throat> Better. It's top spin. And backhand, come. Get up there. Come on, recover quick. And here's three, come. Okay, get a little closer to you. You don't want to be reaching that much. Come on, four. Better. Come on, two more. Five. Come, 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 come. <laughs> that, was bad. that was bad. We got two more. Come on, backhand. Get, 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 get. And one more, Emma. Give me a forehand right here. Get to the ball closer. Come on, go, go. Better. Emma, now, similar drill, but you're going to serve first. So I'm going to give you the same type of ball, but you're going to do it off a serve, okay? Oh. I feel like I play so much better when I'm looser. When you're looser? When I'm free. Mentally. When I don't think much. Like That's interesting. So when you, what do you mean by don't think much? Like the other day I was playing a set. Yeah. No, this was the second time I'm playing this guy. The first time when I played him, all I was thinking was about the score and how I don't want to lose to him because okay. it would be embarrassing that I lose to him. Okay. So all I was thinking <laughs> was don't lose and I was so tight. Okay. I was really tight and I was not playing my game. Okay. I was just like pushing my, I feel like my arm got like shorter. Yeah, okay. Honestly, like a few days ago I played him again. I really didn't care. I was like, you know what? I played so good. I okay. played so good. When I wasn't thinking about the outcome, nothing. I literally, I'm like, I'm here to play and have fun. So and I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's yeah, so true. It is. It's so true. I like loosened up. I feel like I was like lighter in my feet uh -huh. too. Because when you're, when you have blocks here, you're like, your feet stop working oh, too. It's, it's the craziest so thing. So everything stops. If you are you know? able to do that, like, if you are consciously able to, able to change the way you feel at, at that level on the court, that's fantastic. But sometimes yeah. what I think is like you, can't really control how you're yeah. going to feel. It's just that sometimes you show up on a court and you just feel tense and tight and you feel awful. Yeah. 
yeah. and you're trying to get, shake it off and get rid of it, but you can't. And another day, you step on a court and you're feeling great. Yeah. You're feeling loose. You don't feel the nerves. Like you feel like you swing freely. Yeah. You can play aggressively. It's a really complex thing, but I know what you mean. Do you think there's something that you can adjust easily? Because I don't think so. Maybe sometimes you can, but I don't think I don't think it's as easier. It's easier said than done. I think. Yeah, I don't think it's easy. Yeah. Also, probably if I would go in a tournament now, I would get tight again. Probably. Um, but it's something. I feel like how you practice your swing, like how you practice your shots. Yeah. You should be practicing that too. You should like visualize. I help like visualization helped me a lot when I played on tour. Oh, for sure. So and then you're kind of like prepared for all the. All the possibilities. No, I agree with scenarios. that 100 percent. Now, yeah. that, what you're saying is absolutely right, and you should always try to relax yourself and use relaxation techniques and use mental techniques to free yourself yeah. of those nerves. No doubt about it. You should do that every time you step on the court. All I'm saying though is that sometimes, and you can you correct me if I'm wrong. What I've observed with myself playing is that some days you step on a court, and for whatever the reason may be, you just feeling like these tense you're feeling tense and you feel like you can't really swing out on the ball and you, yeah. it's a generally uncomfortable feeling and on other days you step on a court it might even be against the same opponent yeah. and you're feeling like you can swing out and you're feeling great and there's really no rhyme or reason to it have you ever experienced something like that for sure it's weird sure. right it, it's so weird it's it's so weird that's I'm... what makes tennis so complex yes it's a really complex game Okay, good for doubles. <laughs> Very good control there. That's the best one you hit so far. Nice work, Emma. Thanks. All right, now we're going to test your stamina, okay? Aww. We're going 20 side to side two times. Come on, let's do this. Is this, this the last thing? Yep, and then we get out of here. We're done. We're done. And this is it. We do two sets of this and you're done, Emma. Two sets of 20? Two sets of 20. Here we go. Emma, I did two sets of 20 with Macy. She did two sets of 20. Okay, then. That's motivation. Okay, here we go. I knew that was motivating you. Here we go. One. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. Here we go. Four. Come on. Five. Here's 17. Come. Here's 18. Come on. And my 19, come. And last one. Emma, fantastic job. Before doing drills like this, like you don't want to do it, but then once you do it, you feel good afterwards, right? Yes. It feels really good, doesn't it? It feels good that you completed it. Exactly. One. Come on, two. Come on, Emma, three. Here we go, four. Come on, five. Last four, right here. Come. Last three. Here we go. Last two. Come on. Last one, Emma. And bonus round. Two ball bonus. Come on. One. And last one, right here. Emma, this is so good. Fantastic work. You all right? I focus more on my breathing. And you did better there. Yeah. What did you do as far as breathing? Instead of focusing how many balls I did, yeah. how tired I am, uh -huh. I was focusing on my breathing, like literally breathing in as I'm going to a ball, breathing out as I hit. And it helped it you. Helped. That's fantastic. It's the first time I do that. I don't know, I just tried it. And you tried it and it worked. Yeah. And you didn't focus on like yeah, how many balls I feel you have like left. I was so much more calm, calmer. And you didn't worry like, oh my God, I have to do 10 more. I, think, I was just focusing on breathing, literally. Like I'll be honest it. with you, like that's like the mental trap you can fall into when you start dreading the rally. Yes. And it can happen in a match too, where yeah. you're like, oh my God, this, I'm in a rally, I yeah. want to get out of the rally, like I can't do it anymore. Like, that's a really negative mindset. Yeah. And if you can like snap out of that, it can help a lot. But it was a really good practice session today, Emma. We're doing good. We're going one step at a time. We're working hard. Yeah. You keep playing those sets during the week. It's going to yeah. help you a lot, okay? Yeah. I feel like I'm doing better. Okay, I feel good. feel better on the court. Awesome. So. Let's go. Nice work.